The civil society coalition members said, in as much as protest is a fundamental right of the citizens, detailing into violence is a breach of the law, hence they are calling all that intend to join the protest to assemble at the King Square between 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. They said, the end to bad governance protest is geared towards sending a message to government at all levels to do the needful and honor the agreement reached between those that voted them into office. Since Nigerians have resolved to come out to express themselves, and which is a fundamental right of every Nigerian citizen that cannot be jettisoned. So we have resolved as civil society organizations to come out and join force with the government and the security agencies across board to ensure that the protest is managed. Having resolved and discovered that it is inevitable for us to stop the protests in the two states, we have agreed as civil societies in the two states that we must protest. And we must do that within the ambit of the law. The Gen Zs, the young generation, who are complaining that they are hungry. You are hungry because of mismanagement of our resources, both federal, state, and local government. We don't need two houses of assembly in Abuja. Others said there is no going back as no form of blackmail can make them back off. It is uh, very, very obvious that uh, from Genesis to Revelation, this administration is a bad specimen. That is why the rack tax and Bob Tates, the Aminu Kanu Talakawas are coming out tomorrow, which is August 1st, to say Kabudo Rejetamenta. Please try not to destroy any government property and please protest peacefully. The proposed protest is expected to last from the 1st to 10th of August 2024. A Fosa Wangwe, ITV News.